Welcome back to Let's Play Doom 3 BFG Edition. Last time, I confronted Hell about its attempts to scare me. And... Pushed the wrong button. What a terrible accident. Uh... This time, let's not do that. Thank you! You're welcome. How does that feel better? I mean, he's probably going to be eaten alive by demons or something, but, you know, still. I didn't do it. That's clearly what I was meant to do. Oh! You're right there. Thanks for getting me out of there. I got trapped in the chamber when the power went out. I don't know what's going on here. I don't understand why none of the systems are responding. I'm going to try to get an uplink into the main system from here. This is a secure terminal. I might be able to get a connection. Okay. She. Oh. Hey, you wouldn't mind if I, uh... Oh. I knew there was PDA there. I missed the video. Well, um... Stay out of your way and read my emails. By my, I mean your. Michael Abrams, security chief. Security log number 3072 for Delta Security Chief Michael Abrams, November 15th, 2145. I've just come from the armament division where I was issued one of the new BFG 9000 series weapons. <laughs> Well, they weren't kidding about how much lighter it is over previous prototype models. Won't be so bad carrying this one around. <laughs> Anyhow, for a couple of weeks now, many of the security teams have not been following proper reporting procedures. Not sure if it's the format of the new SIR, so... I'll make sure each team is scheduled by training division to get spun up on the new reports. There have been some security issues in the Alpha Lab. I sent a team over to investigate, and now I can't reach them on any comm channel. Awkward. Guess I'll have to go over there myself. Well, I'm headed over there now. I'll finish the security report in full when I get back. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna leave this BFG locked in my office for now. Please have IT security change my door code to 901. Sure as hell don't need anyone messing around with it. Chief Abrams, end of law. Oh my god! You can better believe I wrote that number down. Uh, IT security invalid number and code. Mr. Abrams, you're unable to process your door code request because you included a zero in the known sequence. As you should have known, zero is not a valid number on door codes. Because of the importance of your request, we've decided to take it on upon ourselves and replace the zero with a three. Noted! BFG 9000, 931. Please advise if this causes a problem. Personnel request. Security Chief Abrams, as you requested, you're sending more security guards to your security unit. The events of Gorman's death are tragic. We hope that any further incidents can be uh, can be dealt with safely. We expect a new rotation of, of personnel in about ten working days. Director Kelsey Krish, Human Resources. We make working on Mars feel like home. I wonder if I was meant to be uh, transferred here. Henry Nelson, security sweep request. Mr. Abrams, we're getting a lot of reports about strange noises. Voices? Down here. My team is on edge, and we are mo most are unable to work. It might help if you could send a security detachment to Alpha Sector uh, Alpha Sector 4 to do a sweep of the area. I know this sounds crazy, but it would make myself and my team feel a lot better. Mach 2 Chain Gun Briefing. In a quest to provide armies with a well-balanced set of weapons, the UAC looked to the past when designing and manufacturing the newest line of Mach 2 chain guns. The retro style and mechanical sturdiness of the chain gun is a must for all hardened combat veterans. Early adapters have nicknamed it SAW. With its armor-piercing 30 caliber bullets, the chain gun is capable of literally cutting opponents in two. Packed with all the punch you need in close combat fighting, 
the chain gun delivers unparalleled reliability and functionality. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior firepower. Amen to that, brother. Yeah, did I read that? Chain gun. The chain gun zero point. Oh, yeah, I did read that one. Zero point thirty caliber. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah. I already had one, thanks. But I'll I really appreciate the ammo. Now then. Oh, right, because it was a totally optional thing to go into the, uh, into the out-of-game website, so they would reward you with giving you the gun early. I'm going to stay here. I can lock the door after you leave. I think I'll be safe. Okay. Um, sorry about turning you into a bloody skeleton. not go through there. That's the only way to go. Um... How do I save there? Oh... Okay, that wasn't so bad. Right, I was starting to say, and I got interrupted. I think it was also Volpa threw up in the comments. He suggested that uh, uh, I can't kill the demons here. If I can't kill the demons here, I just send them back to uh, hell. Then I might just be killing the same three or four imps over and over and over again. A delightful mental image. I'm taking that as a suggestion. Wow, that's creepy. One of them. Oh, and apparently those guys are Zedsec. You know, because they're zombies. And security guards. That's the one. Where did you find a hand grenade, Rick? That both proved it was a zombie and put that son of a bitch out of his misery if he wasn't dead yet. You're a piece of shit. Died and deserved to. Oh, hey. how little I want to go through that door. All right, all right. Follow me. Come on, hurry. I can see that the door is locked. You know that, right? Ah!
took my baby? Or was that uh, they took my bait? Either way, ah! Uh, uh, oh. Huh. I suppose they took my baby. Which would indicate there are actual ghosts in this place and not just, uh, hallucinations. Marine, rate schematics show all passages out of your area blocked. The only way through is by traversing the EFR, mechanical subsystem with two possible routes through it. Activating the system will get you a direct route, but it's dangerous. Extending the service bridges is safer, but the lighting system is a prime. Make a choice, Marine. Good luck. Let's look into extending those bridges. Nelson, plant manager. This is the audio log of plant manager Henry Nelson, dated October 24th, 2145. I don't know how I should report this, so I'll just talk about what I know and what I need. I've had quite a few employees reporting to me that they've heard strange sounds, like voices talking to them, calling them, even when they were alone. At first, I didn't believe them. The guys down here like to kid around but they assured me they were serious. I ignored the stories at first, until one day, I heard something too. I was working on one of the lift-up service panels, and I distinctly heard the voice of someone saying, over here. I quickly turned to see who was there, but the passage was completely empty. I looked around, but I didn't see another soul. I even checked the work logs, and no one else was working near that area. I don't want to sound crazy here, but my guys and myself are a little spooked, and some of the guys were even talking about ghosts. So, to make everyone, including myself, feel a little more comfortable, I'd like to request that a security team make a thorough check of the EFR area. Thank you. Henry Nelson. John Carpenter was right! Mars is full of ghosts! Oh man, this crazy urge to backtrack as I'm suddenly worried that I missed the, uh security uh, room with BFG in it. Jeff Dickens, Strange Voices... Wait, let me just check something. Ha! Ah! This is from that last guy. Strange Voices. Henry, I haven't slept in three days and can't concentrate on work. Ever since Howell's accident, everyone's been pretty freaked out. So I really thought the guys were saying they heard voices were full of shit, but lately I've been hearing them too. I don't know how UAC expects us to work like this. Greg O'Brien, missing tools. Henry, the tools in storage cabinet 64 were missing again today. Get my magic pen out. I'm going to change the combination. Cabinet 64 to 651 this afternoon. Please do me a favor and don't tell Seneca the new combination. I believe he's the one taking my tools all the time. The guy thinks he's a real riot. So that was distinctly a female voice. Yeah, okay.
With the BFG-9000, it never hurts to make sure. Most powerful weapon in the universe. Oh, I don't like the looks of this at all. So much for safer! Around the pillar. Oh, good. They can, they can do that. I was wondering what the uh, dude was wrapped up because I'd never seen them use the uh, webbing. You have to activate the machine to let you go through the place, or you can extend the bridges. Oh, the door's locked anyway. What the fuck? Oh. Nope, nope, they're coming from down there. deal with the dude with a shotgun first. Yeah, it's a lot of flavor logs and stuff. For the most part, I'm just doing the same thing over and over. Of course, the game did come out in, uh, 2004, so... Oh, I understand there's a bit of an anachronism. One of the, uh... You'll remember that the BFG edition comes with a new mini-campaign called The Lost Missions. Uh, well, according to the achievements, you can, there's a hidden room in... in in the Lost Missions, with the Rage logo on the wall. I'm so certain. That was a trick they really liked to pull. In the original down opening doors on both sides of you. Oh. No, seriously, like, isn't this the least inviting place in the universe? Hope you enjoyed your stay on Mars. It is the same few guys over and over again.
why they chose to have the shells. Right, you know what? Fuck that. Alright. Not what I meant to do. There we go. I wonder why they, why they chose to make the shells uh, each reload two ammo, as opposed to just making him reload the shells faster in the animation. Hmm. That was a different voice. This could be this could be a trap, and we'll find out on the next episode of Let's Play Doom 3 BFG Edition. I'm Bernie Dogface, and I'll see you then.